think I'll wear these shades for the day that's in it. Ireland's first game. These look ridiculous, but sure. Why not, you know? Um, just back from the pub on the ill coffee I was, so I'm home now, I'm getting ready for the gym. Just want to wait till about half seven so I can have access to the timesheets for Open Week in Craddockstown. Look at those fulfill bars, they are the best. Mm. Anyway, gonna hit the gym, gonna go ham. Didn't have the best of weekends. I, I'm still kind of I'm in this weird place where I feel like at the weekends I can get away with eating shit food. I understand I weigh in on Saturday and I do have one cheat meal, but kind of leads to like a few other like poor food decisions. But I don't think I'm in too bad a shape um, to hit my goal again this week. I just uh, gotta train hard and eat pretty well this week. I don't really feel like cooking tonight. I might get a I might do an omelette or if I have time after the gym I'll get a, a bougie bougie but we'll see. I got out to Dunn's now to get some new bed sheets. I got a new bed today, a new mattress, a new uh, base. So life is good. Um, some good quality rest for me. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. First video of the week out this week and two more to come. We are at day number 43 I believe. Down from... 143.2 kilos to 122.4, not in 43 days, but so it's kind of confusing. I started February 7th, but then I started the vlog the 1st of May, so that's where the days are coming from. That's it, guys. Take it easy. workout before it gets too late. I don't want to be up all night, although the benefits of staying up late is uh, you can make videos. So we're going to go one, just under two. Uh, that's it. It's not cheap. Life ain't cheap, guys. Little uh, mattress protector. 20 bucks. Two pillowcases. Egyptian cotton. 10 bucks. And then a nice Egyptian cotton bed sheet. 20 bucks. At least I'll feel fresh as a daisy going to bed. Oh, I forgot I had these. Jeez, I've been walking around with these things on. Oh, well. You shouldn't worry about what other people think of you. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now. Like I said, not the best weekend in terms of food, but um, oh, I messed up on Saturday because I weighed myself 122.4. I was delighted. Went for my usual burrito after work on a Saturday. It's like, oh, I get nachos today as well because, you know, nice milestone getting out to 122, another kilo down. Actually, over a kilo, I think it was 1.3. But then I ate so much food, I, I had what's called a food coma, or like maybe like a food overdose, we used to call it when we went to Amsterdam. And I went home and I just, oh, I'll go to the gym in a bit, I'll go to the gym in a bit, I'll go to the gym in a bit, and I just, I wasn't feeling that. Like, I said, well, do you know what? If you're not feeling it, sometimes it's good just to take a rest, because I trained very hard last week. So I just went home, and I, like I said, I went to that barbecue, which I didn't drink at and stuff, so. Um, plenty of food. The way I see it is like, even if you overeat, like as long as you're eating nothing, like not the worst foods. I know I had four Kinder Buenos yesterday. It's absolutely disgraceful. But look, we all make mistakes. No one's perfect. Um, you're just gonna be building muscle, you know. But obviously, my goal is fat loss, fat loss, fat loss. Lose the weight, eight stone in 15 months. Massive target. But uh, I'm sure that I'm gonna get it. The only reason I wouldn't or won't get it, is if I, I see abs before 93 kilo, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be 93 kilo by the time I see them. Anyway, it's almost 8 o'clock, I need to go to the gym, and then I'm probably going to pick up a burrito somewhere. Peace. <sighs> Close the door. It's late at night. It's actually... Just got 11 because I got kicked out of Tesco at uh, 10 to 11. But thank God Tesco are open to 11, that's great. Late gym sesh today. Well, actually, I was there from 10 past 8 till about 20 past 10, so long gym sesh. Kind of in injured my leg a little bit halfway through, so I did some chest with one of the guys that trains there. It was nice to have a training partner. I actually hit a max, hit 100 kilo. I haven't done that since 2013, which is just great. And then I just want to show you what I got. So it's D load. We have two liters of protein milk. That was on offer. Two, two for three euros. I like that stuff. Some bananas. 
for my carbs. Some eggs, which I might do now. Some coffee, because it was on offer for eight euros, and it's huge. It's like 200 grams, which is good. Uh, some basmati rice, some handy carbs, some meatballs, because they were two euro, and I like meat. I got some bacon, because it was two euro, and I like bacon. I really like cheese, and they were two for four euro. Most of the things I buy are usually on offer, because I'm a sucker for a deal. Uh, and then we have another special offer. Three ninety nine for two packets of deli style ham. And I'll probably put these in these tortillas, which were on offer for two euro. And then I just got some blueberries and some grapes. So nice, nice mixture of food there. And that total thirty three forty one. So I should keep you going for a few days. It's not a big shop or anything, but uh, yeah, what else is there to say? I'm gonna eat food, I'm hungry. Put the eggs out, munching on my home. I actually put six eggs in that omelet. Uh, that's a lot of fat and protein, but um, I, ate, I ate very little food today. Um, and I did a huge two hour workout, so I need that food. But uh, I need to work on my nutrition, I need to work on knowing exactly how much food I'm taking in because it's playing on my mind too much. Just cooking the top under the grill, it's a trick Mama Casino showed me, my wonderful mother. Um, you also see in Rob Lipset's video a lot, but uh, I'm going to give the credit to my mom. And yeah, cook a bit of the eggs, I'll show you. There's the flour. Suspects, tomato ketchup, and some barbecue sauce, and a bit of protein milk. If someone was to ask me what's the, the, the handiest, quickest, highest protein, healthiest meal you could do, I'd have to say it on it's just so handy. You can you can add vegetables and spinach and all that stuff into it as well. I'm just it's eleven o'clock and I just need to get a post workout meal in. I didn't want to go out and eat shit or anything, so it's pretty good, it's obviously fine fat with the cheese and six eggs, but uh, I'm confident. That was sensational. <coughs> I love working up a good hunger and then having a feast. Uh, 50 grams protein in that uh, protein milk. It's crazy, isn't it? Look at that. A No training footage, guys, tonight. It's very hard to get training footage in my gym because it's so busy, especially when I train by myself because it's nice to have someone else to train with you and they can, they can help me out, but I didn't have it tonight. But Anyway, I'm excited. I have a new bed, a new mattress, a new bed. with the same thing, a base, if you know what I mean. I got Egyptian, Egyptian <laughs> bed sheets, a mattress cover, like a spongy thing. And then Egyptian uh, pillow sheets, like, it's gonna be like sleeping like a king. If you saw the bed I was sleeping on since March, the whole thing, fuck, I left the grill on. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, Chin, Chin City, bro. Oh, shit. If you saw the bed that I was sleeping on, that the mattress was just dead, I'd say it was like 20 years old and like you could like put your hand around it and squeeze it down to like here. And then the bed was, the base was made out of cardboard like so, I think I like kneeled on the bed and the whole thing collapsed and my bed was just like all caved in and I'd like sleep, like I'd be falling out of the bed and wake up with pains, my back pains, my neck, so sleep is key. I think the three most important things with losing weight is obviously tra training and exercise your nutrition and obviously diet and then sleep they say is really important and if I was to talk about all those three, if I was to rate those three I would say number one, like what I do best or what I'm doing best or what I need to work on. Um, so number one 
is training. I think I do that the best out of those three. Number two is nutrition. I don't think my nutrition is too bad, but definitely lots of room for improvement. And I'm still learning. I mean, I haven't. I'm not even qualified in any, you know, dietary or nutrition or any of that stuff. So I have so much to learn there. But I do know you just have to eat less calories than you burn to, to lose fat so that's one important thing and then my sleep uh, my sleep is not good out of those three and that's just my own fault being on up editing videos being on my laptop watching videos and it just means you're a bit wired going to bed like um, you're in bright rooms and stuff so I'd love to be able to improve that but I find it so hard to break away from my phone and laptop in the evenings <laughs> and they say sleep is like so 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 important. Dominic Munley is a guy I, I uh, follow and he posted up something about it recently but anyway enough of this whispering in the kitchen. What's up guys? Tuesday afternoon, no Tuesday evening after work. I'll tell you one thing I'm bloody wrecked today man. Whole body just shuts down when I go too hard in gym you know I just so I wasn't going to do nothing, so I said to go out, range, hit a few bowls. <laughs> going to cut the accents now. <laughs> so, uh, you're taking a day off the gym sometimes. It's important to rest. can't train all the time, especially when you go ham, like myself. Um, so that's it. And I'm going to probably cook food when I get back. That's it guys, I'm so tired, I need to get an early night. Although I need to do a video today, I stick to my three uploads a week. I'm trying to get four, but it's hard. So I'm gonna do some editing tonight, and then have it out tomorrow, Wednesday. Have it out tomorrow, like, evening time. It might be a better time for people to watch. Anyway, that's just a little quick vloggy-woggy update. See you later.